I just looked at my wrist, I got time today. Ride with the mob, hum do our law. She can get gangsta, we can keep it cordial. How you wanna go back? How you wanna go? Get I'm addicted to what I know I am. I know I am. I'm addicted to what I am. It's a mob, so you gotta get initiated. If you a mob, then you gotta make an issue. Pass the but y'all think by doing all this shit behind the scenes and gathering together that y'all was gonna get rid of me and somebody fucking lied. Cause y'all not. Y'all sent somebody before. And then every time y'all try it, everyone that tries it learns the hard way. I'm chosen. I'm a chosen one. I'm not going nowhere until I fuck I want to go somewhere. Period. 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 Like, yo, what the fuck is it going to take to get rid of this bitch? You can't get rid of me, bitch. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going no fucking where. What is it? What is it? Yeah, we finna set it off in this motherfucker. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey y'all, hey y'all. So, bro, we see that <laughs> they have failed again, honey girl. Life with Vicky. Girl, yes, girl. You see the title. Yes, Fran decided to bring this deadbeat into the sec the mommy sector. Okay. So, since Fran, knowing what this woman has done, she wants to um Girl, why didn't you just lace her up with some more Keisha tea? You could have did it a little bit better. But we will stay on topic, okay? This is not about Keisha. Okay, but wait a minute. Let me give me one second. Right, Fran, want, they want this to be about Keisha so badly. And no, this is going to be about Chanel Dior. Um, this is going to be about Carol, okay? That's what this is going to be about. Um, but first things first, for some reason, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this whole, uh, I had a baby by Jeremy thing, I faked a miscarriage and all that. We're going to go, because this is going to be real quick. Um, we're going to go ahead and get get rid of that part because... Um, as you guys can see, um, Chanel Dior does not have any receipts at all. Um, she is a drug addict. Um, you know, this is, she, she's a drug addict. I mean, what do you want me to do here? Oh, I forgot. What was somebody want me to go? Let me let you guys know that we are live. She's very excited. But Fran, since she wanted to insert herself, honey, you were gone all year while her child was being dragged. And you think that, and I'll have the receipts. I'll, I'll probably post them on my community post about what she had to say about Fran. Um, because recently when she was asking about uh, the NOF video, Fran, about NOF um, threatening you and your daughter and you wouldn't give it to her. Yeah, she had a lot to say about that. But I'll go ahead and post that later. But we're going to go ahead and, we're going to go ahead and, I mean, literally. I mean, Fran hasn't been there for you at all. <laughs> so since she wants to be here for you now and you sent her for me, Fran, you know that you can't take when I come for you, right? And that's fine, Fran. But what you're not going to do is have a woman in the mommy sector that doesn't have custody of her children running scams on old people. Okay, we're not doing that, Fran. No. You want your deadbeat friend that doesn't have custody of none of her goddamn kids to go after Keisha, friend? That's what you want? You want this girl? Huh, friend? Go. 
Because you know I know that you can't take a goddamn thing. And you know that I'm not scared of you or Chanel. Right? Because what I want to know is why your old raggedy ass got this bitch in the mommy sector anyway. Right? Because you had a foul. You knew that she tried to kill her own mother. You knew that, friend. And you think you're going to have her go after Keisha? Friend, I had your bitch ass crying every motherfucking night, friend. I'm telling you that right now. You think you're going to send this bitch to me when you was in that motherfucking crying, bitch? Good. Both of you bitches could cry together, bitch. You want to send this motherfucker that can't take care of motherfucking kids? You know goddamn well that little boy is not supposed to be in that goddamn home? Cool. You a deadbeat bitch too, friend. And since you want to do it, since you want to do it, bitch, I'm going to tell them who the fuck you trying to send after Keisha. You trifling, bitch. You trifling, scary ass bitch. Chanel, Dior is not doing a motherfucking thing on these YouTube streets. I can promise you that, bitch. You got a meth head, pilled fiend out, bitch. You think you want to go after me? You, 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 you think you going to play with me about it? No, because she don't even fuck with you, friend. And you know that. And you don't fuck with her deadbeat ass either. But she sent you that desperate, bitch. Let's go. So... Y'all want to hear the receipts about this deadbeat bitch who likes to sue apartment complexes? Huh? Why didn't we know? NOF, you missed this one. And leave Anna the fuck alone. I don't need nobody that docks for me. I don't need nobody that docks for me. She ain't do shit to none of y'all. If you want me to, I don't need nobody to do a damn thing for me. And y'all know that. But don't worry. Let, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what's surrounding this sick, diabolical bitch, right? Because the only reason I had her back is because I thought she did not have anything and she was not involved with the murder of her daughter, the, the accidental death of her daughter. I'm going to call it that for today. Until when I get the paperwork, then we're going to call it for what the fuck it is. But let's get on my baby first and y'all keep on talking about my miscarriage. Grah, let's get, let's get to it. Let's get to it. You said I was trying to do what? Um, because she's a deadbeat friend, wasn't help her do anything positive. So, yeah, you deadbeat bitch. You bum ass bitch. You're talking about, you can't, you don't even know what a bitch, you don't even know what business credit is, you deadbeat bitch. You don't even know, you, you, if you expect to get any receipts from this weird bitch, you know goddamn well I went to North Carolina Agriculture and Technical State University. I mean, the whole internet knows that. We all know that Keisha went to Spelman. What kind of receipts you think this bitch got? She don't know what school we went to. Stupid mother, stupid bitch. Anyway, she said I was trying to do what? 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 Say it again, honey. You said what? I was trying to get you to do what? I was trying to get you to do better for yourself, bitch. That's what I was trying to do. To do better for yourself. So you don't have to be out here selling food stamps and scamming old people. That's what I was trying to get you to do. So let's start with that, honey. Before we even go anywhere. Let's start with that. You said I was trying to get you to scam? No, bitch. I told you to get, you could get yourself a, a, a mobile beauty supply store if you wanted to. I, I was sending you ideas, you idiot. So what? Yeah, business credit? Yeah, business credit's for normal motherfucking people. Are you stupid? <laughs> a scam? Yeah, to a broke bitch on welfare selling food stamps? Yes, y'all see that? I has I was looking up, I was looking at a beauty supply store. A, a, a black-owned beauty supply store. I was just giving her ideas, showing her what to do. Because she's a deadbeat. And she's a bum. So yeah, those are the type of things. And what did she say about it? Oh, that's a nice setup, right? Oh, okay, so we're going to get the scams and all of that out the way, honey. Insurance scams, we're going to get into that, how your mother had to pay. But anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and get, we're going to stop talking about my miscarriage, honey. And the, the lies are behind that, honey, because I have my own receipts, honey. We're going to go ahead and get, I'm home now, y'all. So y'all know, th this, is just a, this is just a baby thing, honey, girl. I don't need nobody to do nothing. Do you think I need a dope fiend to do anything for me? Absolutely not. So we're going to get right into it. Hello, Keisha.
we're gonna go ahead and get me out the way since you all keep saying I'm because I, I wanna I wanna get past this part. I wanna get past the part where you try to defame my character. Okay. I wanna get past that part. I wanna get past that part. And I'm sorry that you might want to close your eyes if this is too gruesome for you or if you don't like this, but you guys keep on talking about my miscarriage. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about the miscarriage, okay? That I had on December 22nd, 2020, 2021, since Fran and her friends and, and, and Chanel want to continue to keep going into this miscarriage thing, honey, girl, this is over with. Can we, can we be over the, can we get over the, uh, the lies you're telling about me so we can get really into who you really are? Cause you don't know me. You don't know nothing about me. So. No, I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I want to know you you to know how serious I am, honey. I did have a miscarriage. You can see the date. Sorry, we gonna end it. Sorry, I had a miscarriage. You can see the date right there at home. I went into labor. Do you see? We all can see that that was a miscarriage on December 22nd. It was at one one fifty three in the morning. Do we all see that? Are you done with that part that I lied about a miscarriage? You liar. Hello? Are we done with that part? I was almost, I was four months pregnant. Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? Because if you can speak on my deceased child, I can speak on yours, right? Cool. Now we're going to talk about your daughter and what you did. I had a miscarriage, right? Did I have a miscarriage? I did. We can all agree. At home. No DNC. I had it at home. Y'all done? Y'all done with that part? My bail. Let's talk about my bail. You said Keisha didn't pay my bail. Somebody told you that? Okay, cool. You don't know what you're talking about. So let's get into it. Let's get into who paid my bail. So we, we, we done the fake and pregnancy and all of that, right? Okay, cool. So um, let me go ahead and present the, um, share my screen. Okay. We can see that bail bond agreement. Keisha sent that to me. Why? Because Keisha paid the bail. Keisha signed for my bail. Got that part? Do we got that part, guys? Keisha paid my bail. We good with that? Keisha, sign for my bail. Okay, did you need to see the Uber receipt of me? Um, I didn't walk from the jail. I took an Uber because I wanted to get the fuck out of the jail. Are we done with that part? You have no tea, honey. None. None. What else? Nobody is, nobody's going, Hazel ain't pulling up. The Hazel shit been over with when you, we, we, we met you, girl. Like, what else? Like, Hazel been over with. Ashley been over with. Nobody needs you to go beat nobody up, girl. Nobody flying you in nowhere, girl. Nobody. Nobody, honey. You done with that? Are you done with that part? Okay, cool. Now, let, let's go ahead and get rid of the Anna's doxing me. And let's talk about you, Carol. Because is there anything else? We know that Trolletta got cases in Maryland. Okay, cool. OT. What else, Carol? Do you have anything? Me and Keisha still cool. I, you, you wouldn't know anything about me and Keisha because I don't tell you anything about Keisha. Not nothing. Nothing. You don't know nothing about Keisha. I don't talk to you about Keisha. Any receipt you got from about Keisha would have would have had to come from Fran. And the only thing I told Fran is that she got a house broken into. That was it. Right? Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get back to the because this is gonna be a quick live because I have more things to do, honey. Did y'all ask her how to y'all let a y'all let a dope thing do anything on these YouTube streets? Like, she don't even know what school I went to. Y'all over here, girl, bye. We don't even, I don't even care about nothing she says. We are going to stick to the facts. We're going to stick to the facts that you have come on here with a soft story about your child, about your deceased child that was not true. 
That's what we're going to stick to. That's what we're sticking to. We're going to stick to the fact that Chanel has. Uh, no, I didn't have a threesome with Keisha. I mean, how do you think I would tell Chanel Dior that I had a threesome with Keisha? I mean, that's the oldest tea you have ever. That's the oldest tea. I don't care about that. We're talking about this deadbeat woman who's on YouTube pretending as though she had custody of her children. It's supposed to have custody of her children. And that we're going to talk about the story that she's going along with to, to gain sympathy because she's the real scammer here. So she can scam y'all with the fake uh, Keisha tea. She ain't got no tea. She ain't got nothing. She don't know nothing. She ain't got a receipt at all. We're going to stick to what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to talk about, you want to talk about people doxing? No, but I'm going to show them exactly how to go look you up, Carol. And what we're going to talk about today is until we get, let me tell you, Carol, let me tell you everything we're waiting for. So I know, so you guys know why she's so very much so upset and scared and panic mode. Franny, you think you're going to save this deadbeat bitch? I got you too, honey. So let's go. Um, Yeah, she, she's got herpes, honey. So we don't care about nothing she says. We, we don't care about nothing. She said she could go into the key. She don't know nothing about Keisha. She don't have no tea on me. She don't know nothing. She ain't doxing my boyfriend. She ain't never seen my boyfriend. She knows nothing about him or me. But I know everything about her now, and we're going to show it. She has no recordings of me. If she does, there's no nothing, no tea there. But anyway, let's talk about the... Let's talk about the fact that we all know that when Micah passed away... Unfortunately, when Micah passed away, um, she didn't have custody of Micah. For a very long time, she was very upset about not receiving the money from Micah's accidents. And since I'm going to be off until Monday, first thing we're, what we're going to do is break down those receipts. I mean, sorry, I'm off until Tuesday, actually. So since we're, I'm going to be off, we're going to be breaking those down. And when the actual sealed documents come in and the and the and and, and the um the the actual complaint comes in, so you can actually see what this sick bitch did. Until that comes in, okay, I'm going to still break down the story to you all because this is no beef. It's a public service announcement. She could dance around the truth all she wants to. She could dance around and talk about, oh, Keisha, that's a part. You see what she's doing right now? All these lies, that's a part of her scam and her scheme on the internet. And friend, since you brought her over here to me, I'm going to let you know exactly how serious I am about this. She has pending charges right now for elderly, for, uh, for charges on the elderly. So you all can talk about all oh, my fake harassment charges and all of that other stuff y'all got going on. I don't care. She doesn't know anything about me. She can't come to court. She can't do nothing. But what I am going to do is I'm going to lay her completely out so everybody knows exactly what she has done to her children to not have them and not be able to have them. We're going to talk about the, the kids she has in Tennessee. We're going to talk about that too. We're going to talk about all the children that she just keeps having babies after babies. This, this is the mommy sector, right? We're going to talk about the deadbeat in the mommy sector that's on, that's on drugs that's using her child that she has now to gain sympathy. And what you won't do is think that you're going to fake have this tea about Keisha. You don't have anything. Nothing. Nothing. You know nothing. You're not doxing nobody. If, I don't care. If you, every time you dox somebody, I'm going to dox somebody in your family. If that's what you want to do. Every time you dox somebody, I'm going to dox one of your baby daddies. How about that? Every single time. Every single time I'm going to dox Daryl. I'm going to dox him. Daryl. You wanna, yeah, I'm going to dox him. Philip. I'm going to dox him. We're going to just dox, we're we going to dox all these baby daddies that you got all over the world. That's what we're going to do. We're going we gonna to dox them. We're going to stick to this, we're going to stick to the script though. Because we're going to show who you are, who you really are. Because I'm who I am. I don't pretend to be nobody. Carol, Maxwell, we're going to show exactly what you did. Okay, honey? To, to, we're going to, we're going to show exactly why. Or, or tell the people why you was at home. You want to tell the people why you was at home? Okay. All right. Well, let me go ahead and show you guys that not only did she uh, have an Aspen Creek uh, a set, a settlement, she attempted to do this before. But what we're going to do is get the complaint so we can see exactly what happened. But I'm going to show you guys how to get there.
See this right here? Uh, you see this? This is some things that we missed. Because it would make a little more sense as well. Because what Carol is, is like a personal injury uh, scammer, chaser. And she was very upset because she did not have custody of Micah. She thought that she was going to get Micah's money. That's what she thought. But that didn't happen. Her mother got it. All of it. And so for those of you, so for those of us who have actually been on the phone with her and experienced her speaking to her mother and her children and degrading her children in such a sick way, that's sick is her word, right? The way you talk to your children. When you put all of these things together and then Fran, you knew about Tree. You didn't even, let me, let, let, so we're not going to forget that Fran knew exactly what happened with Tree. Okay. She knew the story. But yet you as uh, her friend, content creator, uh, you didn't even care if Tree was okay. Nothing. You sat there, did nothing, asked no quite nothing. But it's okay. So let's go ahead and you see this? Woods of, okay, you see that? This is Maxwell, Carol, right? She did this. You see, it started in 2007. You guys see that? It started in 2007. Okay. So when it's housing and real estate. See, you, you see how she talks about these claims of accident, accident claims. Um, there's no, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Someone sued you, Carol. Someone sued you and your mother. <laughs> okay. So let's go here since some I need someone to dox for me. Oh. Why is it not working on my computer? We might have to do this for my phone because I don't see. I don't know why this one coming up like this. Why is this not? Hold on, y'all. I don't know why this not coming up. One second here. Why is it not? I want y'all to be able to go right on through it. Is it because I'm on a Mac? I might have to just show it. But y'all see where you have to go. Hold on. Because of my phone, it's a little easier. I don't know why it's not coming up on my computer. Right. No proof in words, honey. But we're going to talk about, you guys can see it's the same um, website, but I 
I can't get it to come up on my computer. So what I found strange so far, one of the things that I found that was strange is the fact that this lunatic, um, Can y'all see that? Because it's really small. Let me see. That's why I wanted to do it on the share the screen. Well, you can see that um, this is Carol Maxwell is the plaintiff here. She's suing Woods of Livonia Association. And you can see that... You have the rest, like uh, the landlords or whatever. This is all the party's information. Now, you can see that the complaint was filed. And you can see that it went on for quite some time. It started in 2007, 2008, and it was finally dismissed. You can see that it was finally dismissed in 2009. These are like all of the motions and all of that. Pleading, sign, all of that. If you want to take a screenshot, I also post this on my community post. But this was dismissed. Down here, when I post it on my community post, you'll see that Carol sued another apartment complex um yes right Carol has been been there from the start she has been a fan she's going to repeat everything that she knows from the start and put it in Dee's mouth exactly yeah I did take a break Yesterday was my break. But, um, you guys, this is the, um, I'm just going to tell you that I felt when I found out that she has sued um, an apartment complex before, um, I found that to be very strange. Like, what? If you go, like, okay, so you are denied the lawsuit that you filed against the apartment complex the first time, two years before the accident at Aspen Creek Apartments. Have you all sued apartment complexes before? Like, or is it just me? I've never. We're not, I don't care about LSA. I don't care about her lies. I don't care about anything. Do you guys understand why I find that to be strange? Do you think that would be something we need to look into? The fact that two years before you sued an apartment complex and it was denied. And two years later, unfortunately, a tragic accident does happen. When you on a visit. On a visit, right? Okay. Look into it. Okay. We, we, all, all I am. We're going to get all of the paperwork. Okay? Because, and I ain't got to stay here long. Y'all understand exactly what I'm talking about.
So all of the riff raff, the friends, the friend, you sent this monster here. Cool. We'll, we'll, we'll just bring you along with you. You know, Fran is desperate. Okay. If you ever wanted to know, we're going to break that down as well. Why would Fran be even associated with a meth head again? In the mommy sector. I have some other things that um, I will be going over, but ma'am, could you please just explain to the people? Because we're going to stay on topic. Keisha doesn't know you. Keisha doesn't talk to you. No. So you're you're skipping the subject, okay? You're skipping the subject. We want to know why. I wonder, does the apartment complex know about her previous lawsuit? Um, I don't know. But she... What, did not get any money for that. And we're going to get into that. And the reason why I chose to separate myself from her, Fran can have her and associate with her because truly that is who she belongs with. And Fran being the mother herself is a sick bitch. Fran is desperate. Yeah, you are. You are. And if I ever thought you was trash before, I know for a fact that you're trash now. Fran. Francois. You can, like, that's like having an, a, a monster come for, because you didn't like when NOF was coming for Farah. You didn't. You didn't like when... NOF was coming for Farah. But once again, with your sick ass, friend, this sick deadbeat bitch that you brought to the mommy sector knowing about her. Knowing now that she has extorted another content creator and accused her husband of the R word. You know that. You've been through that. She's nobody. She's an old lady that likes to send these deadbeat bitches to people. You know, Fran sent Chanel to me. Okay. When I was dragging Fran and she couldn't take it. We all remember that, right? And Anna never came for you, so stop repeating it. Leave Anna alone. She did nothing to you or Chanel. And looking back into it, do I think that Fran sent Chanel to NOF? Yeah, I do. But I'll get into that later. This is about knowing the truth about what Carol Maxwell actually did and didn't do. Because she's been operating off of a lie. And using her child for sympathy. What? Carol stayed around for a year to get. She, girl, that girl can't get no info. She tried to get, she is desperate. That girl, that girl can't get no information from me. She ain't getting nothing from me. She's sitting up there all excited, girl. Look, do we do we need to go re, go over the video again? Wait, where where am I at? Do we need to go? Um, all of a sudden now you you haven't been in franchise for a year, girl. All of a sudden, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think I care about that? I don't. I don't. 
I don't. Exposed about what? Nothing. 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 You can't expose me, honey. She don't know nothing. You need a receipt. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got no phone call. You ain't got nothing. You have nothing. Okay. Oh, I'm dang. I forgot to go. Hold on. We forgot, y'all. We forgot the um the you said what? You said we had what? Oh, you said there was a car insurance scam. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and talk about the scams that you did running over someone. Or what'd you do? Do we need to get this case too? Hold on, guys. We're going to talk about what you tried to do. What you doing, Dylan? We're going to stay on track, honey. We're going to stay on track. This is what you wanted to do? It didn't work, did it? <laughs> it didn't work, girl, did it? You thought you were going to be extorting me? No, I think not. I think not, honey. I think not. What's your bridge card self? What's your bridge card self? I think not. I think not. Yeah, I think not. Girl, hold on. I'm going to be quick today because I got stuff to do. But, girl, we're not going to... Um, we're not going to, uh, mm -mm, we're not going to skip the topic. Dylan, what are you doing? Don't play that basketball in here. She said, I yelled at my son. Girl, we're not going to do that. And you can't even. Is this the one? Girl, you got another, um, no, that's still the Aspen. That's still the woods. But No. Yeah, we, we, we're going to lay it all out, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I can actually show you receipts of what's leading up to popping you, Carol. This is the, okay, that's the case that you lost. Wait a minute. Hold on. This is the one that poor LaJean, what do I do with it? I meant to go back to the website. Hold on, guys. I wonder if I could just airdrop this. Which one is this, y'all? Let me see. Let me see. And this is all public information. No. I don't need Anna to dox you, honey. This is not even a dox. This is just, you know, for educational purposes. This is a public service announcement. Dang, it's not going to take me right there. Accept cookies. Why is it not coming up on my computer though? I wonder why. Oh, you know what? I probably got to be on like um, Safari or um. Do, I don't care. I'm just gonna screen. I just shot it right quick.
since we're talking insurance scams, <laughs> this one that you uh, failed. <laughs> she said insurance scams as if. <laughs> So, you guys, I just want y'all to keep these dates in mind, okay? Because a lot of these dates will make sense later. Remember the... Remember she kept saying she was going to be... She was being sued and all of that? That was a lie. So, she changed the stories. I want y'all to see this, so I'm gonna make it big. But so she changed the stories around. Okay. She changed the stories around. Dylan. Dylan, stop playing with that basketball right now, please. She said, I have receipts. Come on. Okay. So when she keeps talking about insurance scams and stuff like that, um, you left your mother with a balance for an insurance company, honey, because they sued someone sued you, honey. Um, and yeah, the intervening party was the spine specialist of Michigan. That was the insurance scam that you tried to do, um, and it did work. So, ma'am. Your mom got stuck with that bill. Keep uh, a hold of the dates, guys. 2016. Keep a hold of those dates. Carol. 2016, ring a bell? Mm. Okay. Do you follow me here, ma'am? But since you also, you guys, I do have something that we can talk about as well. But and she said that I was scamming her. And we're going to talk about this later. But and not right now. But we're going to talk about that later. But just so you know. Carol, um, you don't come with receipts, baby girl. We don't even care. There is a woman that wanted to speak out. Not speak out. But... Because someone said that I was scamming. No. No. No, ma'am. I don't have to scam. I work. Unlike you, Carol. 
with your bridge card <laughs> and your insurance scams and you using your child for cash apps. We're going to talk about that too. It's weird. We're going to get into all of it, Carol. I'm going to get into this later, but um, now they come from out of nowhere. Um, when K name comes up, um, same play, different day. Yeah, it's. It's we don't care about. Well, I don't care about you trying to talk about you don't have any team, girl. Um. But again, we're going to break it down as to why Carol is in the mommy sector and why she what she's doing to extort uh, people. When you send her cash apps, she will be doxing you. So I'm going to get into this later, but there was another thing that um, as far as one of the women that um, one of the elderly women that uh, Carol, we heard a five hour recording of her pretty much extorting this woman and threatening this woman after she didn't do what she wanted her to do. Um, but she said that I sent this woman to her. OK, we're going to go ahead and debunk that right now because she's lying about that. But I knew when she when uh, Carol left from down there, I didn't know what was going on. I looked and it was gone. You know, her page and so what the hell's going on here? And it just so happened. I was still in the hospital and there was a message saying she was checking on me. I thought, what in the world? Whoa. So I, you know, left her a message saying, okay, I'm fine. You know, and I, I had actually left the hospital. Mm -hmm. And the strangest thing is the reason why I said that Liz is a snake trying to get information. Mm -hmm. Liz typed the same shit in my IG. And the only reason why I say this is because when Chanel said in that chat for Mariah to give the IG, there was no way of getting it. So I typed to Liz, can you please give Chanel an IG? Excuse me. Neither one of those people have anything to do with me. But what you did is, and I'm and I'm gonna tell y'all why she did it. I'm gonna tell you guys why she did it. I'm gonna show you why she did it and what attracts her to certain people. Okay.
Mariah, are you in here? You remember that? So you remember being in Chanel's chat one day and Chanel said um, to a subscriber that was in her chat, right? She was in her chat and she said, get her, I, get her my IG. Do you remember that? I mean, she not lying. She's not lying. V told me to get her info from Liz. So Chanel instructed you, Mariah, to do that, right? Did I know anything about that? You remember that. D but did I have anything to do, do with that? Thing was, I didn't have Chanel's new IG. I found her by way of your page. You came, well, you came to my page to look to see if I was following her. So you're instructing Mob Squad to do things like that, right? I had no idea that you were doing that. But I want to show y'all what made her... Because she said, Nope, you sure didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just looked to see if you were following her, and I just typed in Chanel. Oh, okay. So that had nothing to do with me. You. And why would you? I'm just curious. Like, what would make you want to reach out to this woman? Hi, I'm Liz. I'm old enough to to know better but i refuse to do better because i'm stuck on chanel i help her with her evil plans oh is that right liz liz knew all about tree i never told i never told you d or x for Exactly. Like, what did that have to do with me? Nothing. It had nothing to do with me. Hold on, I'm coming. Now I'm thinking Chanel was lying about her IG being hit. Mm. Yeah. 
Chanel actually lies about everything. So, and it's weird that she does that. But she does. She lies about literally everything. Every time she opens her mouth, she's lying. Yes. And it's, it's really weird. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to show y'all what made this this happen. And what made her start to communicate with this woman. And when she saw her, the next time she saw her, this is why. Let me show you guys what made her use this woman as a target. Because we're going to stay on topic and we're going to show receipts, honey. That's what we're going to do. We're going to stay on topic, honey. Yes, we are. So... Chanel was on my live and she sees that that's all she did was lie. I'm sick of sh <laughs> Yeah, it's sad right, right about now. So so as you guys can see there's a message from Chanel Right? So, you can see that there's a message from Chanel. And she is showing that this person... Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that this person here gifted uh, me five memberships? One, you see that Chanel was gifted a membership. Ashley, Sharon, IGT, TT101. You see that? And then look, you see Liz. Hey Chanel, look, Sharon, here they come. Here, here they here, here go those here they, they come. Right? But Chanel is saying that I scammed her and I sent her. She said that I sent her to Chanel. Or did Chanel target this woman? She said I sent it to her. She said she, she, or she, you know, she's, she can't say, she don't know how to spell bought. She bought five random people members, memberships, five of them. Then she looked, she said that, that was nice. Then this lady buys five more. She gives five more memberships after that. So she had bought 10 memberships that day. Look, five more she just bought. She's clocking this lady. Do you think it's a coincidence that Do y'all think that's a coincidence? Because you see this is when she had her old IG. Right? This is when she had an old her old IG. So when she got a new IG soon after that. This is just in August, y'all. Sure. 
can hang around. Are y'all following me here? So she saw that this woman did this. responded she responded when i october 1st i think it is and said <coughs> oh, 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 oh. i never Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, you can't leave me in chase like this. She always used chase, though. You know, just like um, when I would send her money. And I'm like, I don't have it. I don't have it on the cash app. I don't do, do too much on my cash app. You know? And I'm not going to put any other card on there. You see what I'm saying? Never. You know, that's not my main, you know, thing. Was it August 27th? I think so. Mm -hmm. So 26th, 27th, somewhere around in there. Okay. So this is the day she asked me to call her mother. And okay. All right, go ahead. So uh I knew, I knew, I knew, listen, I'm sorry. I knew that this is gonna be this day. But go ahead. So, you know, mm -hmm. I'm like you know, that's when I was dealing with the construction company and all that. Why well, I'm at this construction company, because I'm building them from the ground up. You know, it's not going to be you no know, finance or nothing like that. So I was surrendering 
my, if you know what that means. It, just because I surrender them, they're not hers. You know what I'm saying? There's a process. It takes anywhere between 90 and 120 days to actually get my annuities. Right. I just don't say, okay, if the, the surrender is like a cancel. Mm -hmm. doesn't mean that she thinks she's going to get her hand on it. So I was at the construction company putting more money on my account. So if they needed one windows, it's a process. You know, the way that they're doing, it's a process. So, you know, I need to have money there. So she was like, well, maybe I can get a house and a car. <clears throat> what? Why do you need a house and a car? Well, you just heard my mother say, she's kicking me out and me and Chase had nowhere to go. You're going to put us on the street? She really played on me about that child. Really hard. I, I never could understand it. And I would send the money for the diapers. And all of a sudden she needed food because the power went out and it spoiled all the food. And I'm thinking... How is she living? You know, and I'm like, uh, I don't want to argue with her. So I cut my phone off so that I get a peace of mind because it was really bad. So I, in actuality, I actually did surrender all four of mine. But I haven't got them yet. Even since I've been in the hospital, you know, was in the hospital, I still haven't gotten yet because there's a process for these taxes and all that shit before I get it. Because now what I was waiting on was my house to close. So that day that she said that um, she had got her mother to call. Do y'all follow where I'm going here? Wait a minute, hold on, Dylan. So, sorry. You guys don't... So, um...
So. Okay, so remember when I asked her what day was it? Remember when I so asked her what day was it? So I said, was it the August 27th? And the reason why was because she asked me to call her mother. Remember this on that day? She asked me to call her mother. I said, my, I said my phone was on do not disturb. She said that she told me that the guy beat her up and um, that he took her, her money and her car is messed up. Um, I said, Do you want me to tell your mother? And she, I said, what's the number? And then she sends me the number and she says Chase is there um, and all of that. Okay. So, yeah, the lady played like she was Chanel's mom in order to help her get the lady's money. Do you think that Liz did it? I don't know if it was Liz or, but this is also the day that <clears throat> she told me to get her mother to come over there. But she said that <clears throat> the lady was scamming her. You, 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 you understand what I'm saying? The house closed. Closed. They had to move it back because it was supposed to be on the tenth. And once I got out of the house, closed on that. Little does she know, my mom left me a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Nobody needs to know that. I sit because I have nine children. Seven. I woke up and I called the doctor. And said, the twenty-seven. How? I'm sitting. I farted in my mom's blood. You better have part of my coffee. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Get Don't out. Don't you me. The next universe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Dylan, you, 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 you got your booty chicks. Look at your little booty chicks on tight. Look. <laughs> get, 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 I farted in my mom's blood. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> and I farted like... Get out. I'm not playing no more. Like, Sorry, y'all. Dylan, get out my room. Get out now. One more, one more. Last one. I put it in my mom's closet. <laughs> I dragged her in it. And when she got out, she whooped me. And she was like, I'm free. Die, die get out. <laughs> you look, you look. <laughs> die, that's, that's, that's another time. How you little thighs getting thick, boy? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get out, Dylan. I'm talking. I'm having a grown up conversation. Bye. I don't want to hear that quando dingo no more. Get out my room. Jesus. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. House on fire. No, you better not get out. Dylan, get out. Get out. You got King making noise. I'm not laughing no more. <laughs> get out. Oh my God. Okay, give me the phone. Don't worry about it. Give me the phone. Okay. I know how to stop this. Give me the phone. Bye. But you can't get out of the window. Get away from my door. <laughs> Sorry. No, for real, Dylan. I'm not playing now. <laughs> okay. It's bedtime now, baby. Go ahead, go to bed. No, because you don't know how to stop. It's annoying. <laughs> Dylan was getting on my nerves. Wait, 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 deep voice was a horse. <clears throat> then and now, <laughs> it's gonna go away.
girl, what is wrong with Dylan? And what is Quando Dingo? <laughs> <laughs> he looks his little skinny butt looks so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> he was in it. Y'all, it was like he had just took his bath, so he had his little he was putting lotion on and kept coming to my room. Here you go. Sorry. Left break for the darkness. Hold on, let me But this is really long, y'all. But I want to know, like, I want to know what y'all feel right now. Do you guys remember the five-hour-long video she did? And it was just, like, long, long. Um, I, I think he called it Quando Dingo. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> but... <laughs> that is a fair page though and I told her what I said and I called the mother that day and I was like she's saying that the guy beating him up she was like oh god she's like well I'm at the I'm at the game with the kids and I was like okay and by the mother's response I could tell she was like okay but I know she did go there but then <clears throat> she calls me back and said I was I'm like she was like I'm high I'm high on Molly and she said she was saying she was high and I was like what and I was like and I just like oh girl you tripping and she was laughing but it was like a fake like laugh like <laughs> like and I, I felt like she was either either she was high and tweaked out or I don't know mm. because you're telling me that <clears throat> and that was the first time she ever told me that she was high so I don't know if she was really high or she I, like I don't know what this was about but I feel like it was to get her mother to come to the house well the, the repeated asking of money told me a whole lot but I'm talking about on this day though because because oh, okay. she, she didn't act she told me what happened but I think at this point she knew that I don't know. She didn't really. She didn't really ask me for money much. But I don't know what she was using me for this particular day. But I feel like it was to. If I feel like it was to call her mother, <clears throat> to get her mother to come over there for whatever reason. But you said on this day she put you on the phone with her mother, right? Right. And so what? All right. So what happened when you when you when she when what happened with that phone call? She, she said how much. How much is owed on this house? How much? Is, she said 32. 32K. But why was she telling her to get out, though? You said she was saying. Yeah. So I don't know. I so don't know so she just called you and added you to the call with her mother. Huh? So, <clears throat> Dang, I wish you could see on your phone, like, what time this was. Because it would look, I, I, I'm, I'm curious to know what time. Do you remember what time it was during the day? Yeah, it was well. The time difference it would be. It would have been two. It'd been four o'clock. <laughs> so at four. So it would be four o'clock my time. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so that means at at two. This was at one forty five my time. So I'm guessing the football game is over. The, the mother went to the house because the mother was just like, oh, God, what's going on? I told her. And then by the time...
Dang, all this time it wasn't no sound. All that time. What she, if you believe what she's going through, it could stress you out. But yeah. like, like, that's what happens. That's what, what occurred with me. Right. So, all right. So, go back to this. Hold up. So, tell me about this phone call now, because it's really making me curious. Because she got split personalities throughout the day. She don't work, but she works social media at this point. So, so, so. She was saying that she was gonna get her uh, thing expunged. And right, but hold up, wait a minute. Go back, back to this. But hold up, back. But hold up, back to this phone call on the on with the mother calling you. What? So what happened? I mean, no. So you was on the phone, right? Right. You was on the phone, and she just added her mother to the call. She said, "Her, uh, mom, mom, how much sold on this house? How much?" That's how the phone. That's how the phone call started. Uh, no, she was, she was, we were talking about, I don't know what we were talking about. Oh, because, because by then that, uh, annuity, uh, talk was gone. It just passed. It had left me. It wasn't in that day. She was like, if I get this, if I pay the house off, I don't know how much is owed on it. But no. but how did her mother how did her mother get on the phone with you? And her mom said thirty two k. Wait a minute, no. What I'm saying is, how did her mother get on the phone with you though? She, I guess, patched her in or something. I I don't know what that is. It was wound up. It was on her phone number, and. <laughs> There's this lady that came up. Wait a minute. So you was on the phone. So you were on the phone and... Then, and, and then she said, hold on. And then I heard this beeping. Beeping. Yes. And then this lady comes up and she says, Ma, how much is old on the house? Mm. And she says, 30, 32K. And she said, all right, Ma, bye. But w was this the same day she was? Her mother was saying she was gonna get out of the house. Yeah. So, yeah. so how did that conversation start? That's what she told me. No, how did the conversation start when her mother was saying you gonna get out of my house? Yeah. How, no, how that did she had, oh that she had uh, put a uh, what do you call them things in the yard? Century Twenty One. A for sale sign. Yeah. So, so I gotta go. I gotta get out. So wait. So hold on. So how? But I'm saying, how did the conversation start with her mother when you were saying that she was uh, fussing with her, saying you gonna get out my house? Oh, that was okay. Let's see. That is so much. So remember when? Uh, so I can't remember if it was. I'm trying to think if, if I'm doing them in reverse. Right, not the annuity talk, but I'm talking about the day you said, no, I, I, you I'm said not, her mother yeah, called, she put her, yeah, mother because, on her phone and was saying you will get out of my house. I'm trying to see if that was before or after the sign, because it was two, two different. I don't no. think it was the oh, sign. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. She said that her mom had came by and said that she needed to get out of her fucking house because she was putting a sign in the yard. I said, you just can't do that. Was she going to do it? She going to do it. As soon as I hung up, she calls me back. It says, yep, sign's in the yard. I'm going to have to get out. I said, but you still can't do that. She got to legally evict you, give you a notice. No, she don't have to. She owns this house. So I said, she owe anything on it? Yeah. I said, okay, well, she can't do that. That's against the law. 
hung up. And then the next time she called, she said, hang on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call my mom and see how much is owed. So she put me, I guess, on hold because it was beeping in my ear. And then all of a sudden this lady comes up with her and she goes, Ma, how much is owed on this house? She said, 32K. She said, all right, Mom, and hung up on her. And then Mind you, the house sold in 2016 for $30,000. Wait a minute. Yeah, y'all can hear me. Came back to me, so I guess it was a three-way call. So earlier in the day, she tells me that mom cussed her out saying she had to get out of her house and she was going to put... She was gonna sell the house. Da da da. I can't. She can't do that. She can put the sign up all she wants. Somebody can come by tomorrow and say they want to buy it, but there's a process to close unless they got cash, and then they still have to give you enough. No, she's just gonna put me right the hell on out. I said, you can't do that. She didn't want to hear that. That's when I knew her level of stress, confrontation. Is beyond my limit. I don't do that well. You see what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> at the end of the day, that's what she says her mom says. She turns around. I tell you, kid you not, it wasn't even five minutes. She called me back saying she put the thing in her yard. And then later, at four o'clock, her time, she's making a call to her mom that, that I don't think, honestly, I don't think it was her, but she called her mom just like she called Liz mom. I don't know if it was a setup. To, to try and make me to pay the 32 so she could stay in there. But then in the same breath, it, oh, in the middle of the have night, you ever, have you ever, hold on. Three, three hours behind. Uh -huh. And then she's, I'm getting these voice messages to say the water is going to be shut off on the 27th. Why is it the 27th always? But it was in August 27th. Yes. So on the August 27th, <clears throat> she said... All that happened. Huh? The lights, the, the lights, the water, everything was the 27th. And I have, you ever, sure. have you ever heard Liz on the phone before? Huh? Have you ever heard Liz on the phone before? No, never. The only time I've heard uh, uh, Liz is when, you know, her and Tree would be doing them card games on live. That's the only time I've never heard her on on the phone. So all you heard, so all you heard, the woman was say say was thirty two thousand. Yep. And then she said, "All right, mom." Didn't say buy or nothing. Hung up. That's why I say, I, you know. She presented her as her mom, but the way things are looking after I look back, I don't think so, because I had never heard her mom either, and I've never heard Liz. So our mother, her, our mother probably didn't even pay thirty two thousand for the house. The last time it sold was for thirty two thousand. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Oh my God. This is too much. So, okay, so what what happened from so she was so that's what she was pressing you about the water bill that was six thousand dollars and the and the light bill, and the light bill that was six thousand dollars. Most the reconnections for fees for that. <laughs> what else? She needed food, scabies, meds, gloves. Was it scabies or bed bugs? She said scabies. I told her it was bed bugs. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so how did the new... Okay, so <clears throat> she was just asking for a lot of money at this point. Yes. And she also knew that I was, you know, putting money at the construction company. Right. Because I hadn't been like that until the house closed. Right, so <clears throat> I closed on that on the twentieth. But I don't know why she was tell people, "Oh, I'm a big, 
site is because I purchased your memberships in there for people. It's no, she, does, you, you know, know what? She told me that a while ago, and <clears throat> she told me that when she said, she was like, oh, she, um, she's a big cash app or something like that. And I just was like, oh, okay. And I, I don't know if you know this, but I don't even really put my cash app, <laughs> like, anywhere. No, you don't. That's why I always be doing it, you know. But, and, and I really didn't like that because, you know, your name shows up and people see that, you know, on the right on the big screen and it's like god okay you know, i don't right. want nobody know it right <laughs> right no but i did i did appreciate that i felt like i didn't get to tell you i appreciated that but i did see you um uh, get the memberships but when you did that she did tell she was like that's um v she bought you those memberships and i was like i did i think maybe the, the time you did it i didn't see it yeah because we were uh it was something 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 we were discussing, and I get quite sure you wouldn't been able to see it. But you know, everybody <clears throat> that got one, you know, they were truly happy. That was the incentive. You know, I don't um, watch this other person that's not even in this. He's he's. I, I don't know what's a girl world. They in the girl world, and uh, his people when they come in there, his people that have memberships try to get people to get memberships you know so but all right so when the annuity thing came up that was a, a the house right now in you know in 2016 the house sold for thirty thousand dollars not 32 but thirty thousand mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and, and i'm guessing you know, you know that King King Chill, but you know that's around 2016. So, and you know that's around the time that that charge, and she was in house arrest and all that stuff. I believe that's around that time. I don't know any of that. Okay, well, I I, I, I really like blind. I'm learning from you. I, I okay. really am. Okay, well, she's a con artist, but. Um, she and she is, but so so. How did you how did you end up telling her that you would? So she was was she precious? So she was basically stop telling you that her mother was putting house up for sale, mm -hmm. and she was telling you that her and Chase didn't have nowhere to go. Yeah, I need to get help. I need help. I don't have this. I don't have that. I just want to start a new life. This and that. She, she even asked me for a computer and a printer. She, she asked you for a computer and a printer? Dang it. <clears throat> Let me go up to his because King ain't going to let us live. She asked you for a computer and a printer? Yeah. Do you know what? Did you know that's why I did her? And her? Come on. Come on. <clears throat> you know, I thought it was funny that she asked her for a computer and a printer because that's how. Her and Brenda fell out. Okay, come on, come on. I'm not gonna play all of this because it's really long, y'all. And I just wanted to give give y'all a gist of, you know, what was really going on. But we're gonna break this down at another time. But I'm um I'm gonna give it to an hour. Wait, hold on. Get her nurse's license. She asked you for a computer and a program. Yeah. And, and and you and okay, she she just asked for okay. So you know when that when that when when she asked that, I remember something about a computer uh with Brenda. Right, she had a falling out with Brenda over a computer talking about she didn't need a computer. And a, okay, <clears throat> okay. So I thought that was kind of. I'm like, we didn't need it. I thought you had that. So, no, she doesn't have a computer. I want to get my uh, nursing degree. Nursing degree? How? Do you know she's a... How is she going to get a nursing degree and she's a kidnapper and an attempted murderer? I don't know. That was the end of that. I, I, I was like, nursing? Hey, hey, Candy Zilla. Thank you for the super chat. Good school. Uh, set up a business 
<laughs> well, I did. I was telling her how to do the business thing, but. Well, you know, when you were, uh, when I uh, sent you that over there about that uh, YouTube person, that time a long way back, is was, I, I thought we were going that way. I was going to give them a little bit of tricks and tips. And, and that's where we need to be going because I got to get away from Because I'm away from this daggone girl. Yeah, because you know what? You could really have some, have some bank. Right. Just a little bit of tricks and tips and stuff that and what you need along the way, you know, to to build your, your net worth up. Right. So so, so when you when don't as, have uh, annuities that are forty plus years old. Wow. Because they usually cash cash them in, you know. But uh, but I knew I had nine kids. Right. That I needed to leave something. You know, <laughs> so, so I, I'm trying to think about this day because it was like a build up to this because she was telling me about this um, well, money that she's about to get. You, you listen, probably because she would bug me every day thinking that it was an instant type of thing, and it's not. You think somebody that has held my nudies for 40 years will, uh, Send them to me that quick. No, because, you know, you got the federal people and everybody else. There's a process. She didn't want to hear that. Well, if they, if you would surrender, yeah, they had to send me the forms to resent, uh, to surrender them. Okay. They're not even here in this state. Because I've lived in 46 states, mm. four countries. You know, my life was a traveling boo, you know, but, you know, and she wanted it like now and she couldn't understand the words I used. She didn't want to hear it. Well, you said you surrendered. Yes, I did. But it takes 90 to 120 days for the process. You know, they just don't get yeah, your money. But if you owe on that you, and the servicing of them, it takes a while. I was impressed. I knew my house was going to close. <clears throat> right. Well, she was telling me she was at. The, she was telling me she was at the bank waiting for the money. What? <laughs> How she gonna get a bank account? Because I'm quite sure she's done some shit. Sure she, she said you were supposed. To, she said you were wiring the money to her. Jesus well, not you. Some other lady that just had an annuity and was giving her one hundred and fifty thousand, then it turned into six hundred thousand, and she was crying over this. What? Oh my god! She said, "I'm just. I don't know why would this lady would do this for me. I'm just, girl. I can't make this up." My brother, stop that mess. At when he saw me getting, and then when he opened up my phone, he's like, no way. Nobody talks to you this way. Right, so you said, hold up, so she was, you just told her that you had a new, what did, what, like, did you prom, what did you promise her? Like, what was she thinking she was about to get? I guess she thought she was going to get her house and a car. No, what did she think she was about to get from you? A house and a car, and she was get to pick it up. Okay, she thought she was about to get a house and a car because she did tell me about the house and the car that she wanted to get. But it wasn't. It wasn't. This is the strangest thing. She wants a modular uh, a trailer. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> and I, I don't know what kind of car because she did know that. Uh, Back on uh, May twenty eighth, um, from the from the COVID, she had COVID. No, I did. I had COVID when that. Uh, see, this has been going on a long time. When that video dropped, you remember of Micah? Yeah. December of last year, Christmas Eve. Yep, yeah, I had COVID then. It was so bad. I had a stroke mm. in January. In January. 
then I got the what they call the long term COVID mm-hmm. in my legs. So it it, it was a mess. Did so you did you know Chanel back so then? I needed to get me some new glasses, you know. Did, so me, did, I went and went and they told me I was legally blind. Wow. May twenty eighth. She knew this. Bought up. Did you know when when did, did, did Chanel know you had COVID then? Yeah, because she, she had it around the same time, supposedly. Okay, that's what I was wondering. So you had COVID and then she did? I think so, because... uh Was it like January 9th? That's when I had my stroke. <clears throat> okay. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was targeted from the beginning. <clears throat> Why did she take January 9th of my stroke and become had COVID? I thought she had COVID before I did. Do you, did she ever tell you that Chase had COVID? I think she did. She's, uh, they both had it at the same time. Uh, her husband had it when when Chase had it. Oh, I knew I knew she said somebody. Yeah, I thought she had it with him. Oh my god. So you can't, you can't make this shit up. Mm-mm. So why would you take my stroke? Because um, Trina them knew that. So when you, so when you um, when you when you were talking privately, when did you start talking to her like privately though? About the twenty third of August. <clears throat> when was that? Let me look. I can give you the exact date. Let me look at it. Let me see. Oh, wow. I can't see anything. Turn on vanish mode. On Instagram. So, okay. 21st of August. The 21st of August, right? So, y'all saw that she bought those memberships um, ten like 10 days before that. So, the next time she dropped in her chat, that's why she was asking Mariah for, to get her Instagram. Because what would be the reason for her to get it? Why would you ask her that? You understand what I'm saying? And I'm gonna stop. It. I'm I'm gonna stop it here. But the 21st of August. So you saw her gift memberships. She get she gifted memberships, and then you. She said the 21st of August. But I'm going to tell you how she started getting money from her. <clears throat> but my whole point is she tried to say that me and this lady was scamming her when she sent me, Chanel, a message. She sent me a message telling me that this lady, she's looking at my chat. <clears throat> she saw that this lady had gifted me uh can what am I what am I is this me? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Okay. So she saw that the lady had gifted me memberships, right? So that's how she targeted her and told her and told Mariah to get her Instagram. So for you to lie, number one, and say that 
this lady and I was scamming you. No, you told me that she, I didn't even know she gifted the, the memberships, but you, you saw that and you kept that in mind. And then you prayed on this lady. So much that this lady, from the stress from you, she ended up in the, ho in the hospital. And all the while you were threatening her and threatening her and threatening her because she didn't give you the money. $32,000. That's, that's what you needed. From a 64-year-old woman. All while, while dragging people's children, dragging people's deceased loved ones, and you can't even get your shit together. You over here, you over here, uh, trying to get money out of whoever you can. Yeah, the dates are very important. But you turn around and make it seem as though I did something to you. And I and I and I brought this. She oh, she was sent to me. She was sent to me. How? How how did I send her to you? You you reached out to her. You wanted her to reach out to you because you saw that she was a person that did what? Memberships. And it's funny because I remember you telling me that she was a big cash apper. But how did you know she was a big cash apper if she had not cashed at you yet? Who told you that she was a big cash apper? Jenny? Did you know because she was in Jenny's chat? Because clearly you scoped her out. Not vice versa. I'm going to drop the link um, because I'm going to get into this in um, this whole situation. But I just wanted you to hear some of that because for you to say that someone scammed you, that would be absolutely wrong. That's a lie. I don't care how many Keisha trolls or how much you threaten Keisha, you are only digging yourself into a hole. People know that you are desperate. You can't address anything with any facts at all. You have no receipts, nothing. I can drop the link. Um, girl, she didn't know what school Keisha went to. She don't even know what school I went to. That's the crazy part. So, um, yeah.
So outside of the all the, you know, apartment complexes that you like to sue and mothers you like to almost kill and things like that and old people that older women that you like to prey on and take their money and use your child, your only child that you even have in your presence that you really shouldn't have in your presence because you treat them like shit anyway. So, you know, <laughs> I mean, what, what are you, what, what are you here for? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What? So to all the Keisha trolls, carry on, honey. Carry on. She has absolutely no tea. She is a dope fiend deadbeat. Okay? Pill popping, whatever she she does. But we'll get into all of that. The documents will be here soon. Okay. So I said I was going to be here too long. I'm going to wrap it on up. Fran girl. I'm trying to understand why Fran. I'm trying to like. It's the. It's the. You know what. And then. Chanel. How did you get with Jenny? Also a meth addict. Then you befriended. Shanita. Also. Has issue with drugs. I mean. Are those just the type of people you are attracted to on YouTube? Or. Mm, something's not adding up here. Fran. <laughs> But we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Since, you know, you've got all the keys to tea, girl. <laughs> no receipts. No receipts. Girl, you have to catch up. DM me, do something. Meet Mob D. You got to catch up. And when you do, um, her real life, look at her husband. Yeah, your baby daddy's a meth addict. Mm -hmm. can we see Carlos again before we girl I'm gonna come back I'm off for the rest of the week and been gone girl it's okay we're gonna get into it y'all have a good night I might come back later I don't know but Danny T Hello, hello. What's up, Mob Squad? Um, for the bum begging bitches on YouTube, really out here uh, trying to attack Big K and trying to attack our elderly. You praying on our elderly women on YouTube, trying to come up on money, and you all trying to give lies with no receipts, you know, for hours and hit your cash app because you on, you dropping all this tea. I mean, like, seriously, how thirsty can these people be to try to take down anybody that they don't have any connection with in real life? This is the delusion I'm talking about, y'all. And for y'all to try to make Mob Squad the bum bitches that y'all are, no, we not like y'all. We not going to ever be like y'all. You can't group us with you. Whatever you think you know, you don't know. You never was on the end. And for all LSA that want to know who I am, don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. Y'all got way too much hate in your heart. Way too much time on your hands to be wanting and begging for space to drag children. And all because you don't like one YouTuber. Girl, all we... we and, 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 yeah, and guess what? And guess what? You talking about people who drag children? Listen, that lady does not have custody of none of her children. None. And one of her children in her care. Look. Suffer the tragedy. Oh, so basically, basically, you befriended the devil. I did. 
that was a devil, a straight I, demon. For her to get on that live and say the things that she said, made up lies. I don't have nothing written down. I don't have nothing. I'm coming off the cuff. Right. You come. A lot don't care. Who tell it? You lying as you not even human. Whatever has happened to you in your life to make you the person that you are, the scum of the earth, as far as I'm concerned right now, because all we ever did was try to support you and help your wounded ass get over all the things you wanted to scream about on this YouTube app. Uh, they talking about my daughter. They trying to accuse me. Well, something happened. What happened? And then you can't even explain why you blowing up D phone at 2.30 in the morning talking about you got the itchies. Explain that. Man, I know you was looking at your phone like, what the f is this? Girl. Girl. I ain't never in my life. I ain't never in my life. I thought LSA was some bum bitches. Chanel, you got it. Friend, you got it. Friend, you got it. You talking about you want to thank your OGs? OG, you got it. You got it. They think Friend. They really Friend, you think, think they you, you, think, you, us with you think, oh, you think, friend, oh, you think, oh, okay, okay, good, good, because you're going to go down for this one, honey. This is all you. This is all you bringing these trash, trash moms into the mommy sector. You can't expose to us. Scam, to scam the elderly. And guess what? You know exactly who these people are. You know exactly who the people are that she's scamming, friend. That she's... Uh, you know. You know exactly who they are. OG. You know exactly what Chanel is doing. Because you sent her to me. I'm trying to come up off Big K name. Are you serious? He's not. No, we're not yeah. even talking about Keisha. This ain't got nothing to do with Keisha. This ain't got, <laughs> got nothing. Angel in the chat. Got got we got no, 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 no. We not. We not. We know. We not. No, we not. We're not skipping the subject at all. It's Kevember. We're going real. to stay. We're going to stay. We're. Guess what? She knows I'm nothing. Kidding. We're staying on the topic. We're staying on the topic. We ain't even got to, I ain't got to, first of all, she don't know nothing about Keisha. Obviously she don't know nothing not. about me. Obviously nobody not. would ask this ragamuffin to go nowhere. Ain't nobody asking her for, to dox nobody. Ain't nobody asking her to do a damn thing. The most I told that girl was that I don't think that, when I said that, might have got my goddamn self. I don't need her to troll no goddamn body. She ain't that goddamn, what, what I need her for? I got we a whole. We were already done. We were already doing the work way before she came. I don't need nobody to do nothing for me. I have a whole squad. If I, I don't need, I don't need Anna to do it. I don't need a Chanel to do it. I wouldn't need nobody to do it. You can leave Anna out of it. Leave Anna alone. Chanel, she thought she was really going like out, out. She was going out mob squad. Whatever you know about us, we're not degenerates. Whatever you know about us, all of us are about our business. Whatever you know about us, none of us are on this app to tear down any other person. None of us. We came here to protect one person. And that makes us better than you. Fuck up out of here. Girl, ain't nobody worried about her. I'm going, like I said, we're not skipping the topic. We're not changing the subject, honey. We're going to go back to 2009, uh, what is it, 2007, when you did your first. We're going to start there. And if I need to go further, I will. But we're going to start there with your the first apartment. I need to go see what happened at the first apartment that you felt like you needed to sue them. And it took, took all those years. And then two years later... An accident occurs while you don't have custody of your child. Wow. And then you go do it again. Sue another apartment complex. Wow. Then I want to know why. I want to know why you lied and said that you shot someone to protect your children and you didn't have custody of your children. Then you were, the non, mother, right? you were the non-custodial. <laughs> you were the non-custodial parent. Okay. 
Let me tell y'all who I am. Let me tell no. y'all who I am. No, you still ain't telling nobody the truth. You, no. I don't even think you know who you are, Chanel. And any no. grown woman that's raising any children, whether you they're in your custody or not, they're connected to your legacy. You need to do better. I would hate to grow up with a mother like that. What was your mother like? Oh, she was an internet doctor and she she was a scamming old people. The fuck? Yes, who can? Mm hmm Yeah, she want to. It's the fact that they want, you know what pisses me off the most? The fact that they really want to group us with them. They want us to be some low down, dirty demons like they are. No, we're not. No, we're not. We'll never be. Girl, she don't know nothing. Point blank period. She don't know nothing. I don't care what she's talking about. She don't know nothing. I ain't faking no pregnancy. Keisha, pay my bail. Because Imagine she was somebody blowing up your phone 2.30 in the morning, crying to you about every little thing going wrong in their life, trying to come for you, though. Girl. What? Girl. Anybody paying her money? I need your help, D. Call my mother, D. He jumping on me, D. I got the itchies, D. Guess what they said at the urgent care, D. Uh, 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 D. D, help me, D. D, help me, D. Just to come back with this. Girl, nobody care about that. Huh? Nobody care about that. You try to set you try to set me up or whatever you try to do, girl. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. She was next door, Tanisha. Mm -hmm. She was next door. The report says she was not in the house. She was next door. The child was being unsupervised in that moment. Rest its soul. And you know what? This is just a great reminder, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. Mild squad is different. And if what I'm gonna say is, they're not you, squad, they congr really congratulations, they congratulations to you. You crashed out in front of 500 people today, looking stupid. You have no tea. I put and my ass. I put my ass. I put my ass on cam. Yeah, we saw it. We saw it when Chase dropped that phone. We saw <laughs> it the first time. <laughs> Girl, you but can't explain I'm that damn diaper you had on, though, can you? You got all these words for everybody else. Why were you wearing a diaper? <laughs> but yeah, and then I'm about to get on off of here. I'm gonna meet you on the other side of the world. Yep, yep, yep. Mom's gonna for life. Yeah, we ain't gotta stay I'm here. Kinda, I'm kind of flattered that LSA is so threatened by who I am on this app that they want to find out who I am. I'm kind of flattered, but I'm not giving in. Ain't no stopping. We still going hard. We still mob squad. Put them hearts in the chat, y'all. Show them who we are. We are love over here. Y'all are darkness. There's a difference, bitch. Receipt. Look, receipts lie. Receipts lie, but the receipts don't lie. Where the receipts set though? Oh, okay. Girl, but y'all, we out of here. I'll see y'all later. Love you, D. Mm -hmm. Love you, Jamie.